Hey guys, Lisa here, and today I thought I'd do a little fun game before the new season arrives today, and uh, I'm going to try and rate the different quest rewards based on what I think they'll be. Will they be S tier, A tier, F tier, all that stuff, and then we can come back and revisit this uh, before the first nerf of quests or buffs uh, to see how accurate I was um, and let me know what you think of my guesses am I correct is am I missing something uh, yeah so we are going to dive into it reminder rewards and quests come live today we have a new season starting at uh, 1 Eastern and that means you will lose your battleground perks if you've purchased them you'll have to rebuy them and they are no longer purchasable with gold you have to use money or runestones $15 worth um also we get the new battlegrounds reward pass the reward track has tons and tons and tons of new um art and new cool hero skin stuff like that there is a huge a free rewards track or the paid for which again is the $15 uh something that was not brought up earlier that not that I'm aware of but it used to be in the past that if you had the battleground perks that you got early access to new heroes that's not the case anymore so if you do not buy the pass you will still have access to the new heroes there are two new heroes for you to try so that's kind of cool if you are free to play all right so let's dive into this uh rewards rewards matter way more than quests quests are just getting something done to get to the cool prize um so think of quests as your buddy meter and then think of the rewards as your buddy. And a lot of them are kind of similar. The first one uh, we are gonna talk about is alter ego. There are two different alter egos. One is even and one is odd. So let's talk about it. Alter ego is even tier minions in Bob's Tavern have six, six, and then it swaps to odd. Um, this reward is pretty good for specific heroes like uh, Varden when you're getting two of the same minion and they're both going to be buffed so I think that's pretty cool kind of reminds me of Varden's buddy um, but is this overpowered no I don't think so I think it's kind of middle of the road so I'm gonna for now put alter ego in B there's two alter egos they're the same thing <laughs> though I wonder if one's better with odd and one's better with even that's kind of interesting I don't think so, but yeah, that is our first one. The next one we're going to talk about is Anima Bribe. Now, this one can't be used with specific heroes. I'm pretty sure Gallywix is one that cannot use Anima Bribe. After you sell a minion, give its stats to a minion in Bob's Tavern. You're just able to cycle way too much with Gallywix, so it'd be pretty broken. Um, I think there's another hero it doesn't work with, but I'm not sure which one. I don't feel like looking it up right now. Um, all right, so <laughs> I hear this one's pretty good. It didn't have my interest that much at first, though. Uh, people are acting like it was S tier. I'm going to put it in A tier because I'm spicy. It's probably pretty good, but I don't know. It's random, too, so I don't love it. Random makes me scared. The next one is another hidden body discovery meaning of your tavern tier can be earned endlessly. So this means that you have to complete the quest over and over again in order to get discovers endlessly. Um, so it can be good if the quest is easy for your hero. If the quest isn't easy for you or your hero, then this could be rough. It's one discover per turn, I would assume. Or if you finish the quest multiple times. I think you could probably do it multiple times a turn. I think it's try it though, so I'm not sure. Oh. I'm going to put an A tier. I think it's A. All right. Unless I'm missing something. Coach Book. After you buy a minion, give it 1-1 one, one and upgrade this. Okay, this Coach Book... I saw someone else use it during the event that we did last week, and it seems spicy. Uh, it's kind of like Nomi, but, you know, it doesn't just have to be elementals. So, obviously, it's uh, 
best to be cycling uh, tokens. It'd be really good if you had brand going because then you could just be buying minions that give you a few minions and then you have a lot of money. Um, I think cooked book is up there. I think it's up there. Is it S tier? I think it might just be A tier. Because there's some other ones that are a bit spicier than that. A bit spicier. I devil's in the details. At the end of your turn, your left and rightmost minions consume a minion in Bob Tavern. This is pretty great because you can play around Zap more. Um, it looks really, you know, my first instinct is something with Baron. So on the right side, you have your Baron being protected. On the left side, you could have uh, the Trickster Demon who scales in your health. Um, you can also... I don't know. It just seems really great with Cleave. Cleave is going to be on the far left or far right. Uh, so I think this is pretty safe bet. Is it S tier? No, but I think it's it's up there as a really good one. So I'll put it in the A. <laughs> I'm putting everything up there. I might have to rearrange. All right. Our next one is Evil Twin. Start a co of combat. Summon a copy of your highest health minion. I mean, I want to put it in S tier because it gives that minion a mustache and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Make sure you play with this quest reward because you get to see one of your minions with a mustache. It's so cute. Okay, but is it good? Um, again, it's good with certain comps like with the trickster comps. If you have big, 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 big minions and there's no murlocs in the lobby, if there's not a lot of poison in the lobby, then this can be really good really spicy um especially if you get it early enough because early enough a lot of players do not have a lot of high attack minions or poison so it could really get you into the end game uh, again i'm gonna put it in tier a don't know if it's s tier yet not i'm not willing i'm gonna i'm gonna really hold out on that s tier <laughs> next we have ghastly mask add another card to your hand your end of turn effect triggers twice so the other card that it's adding to your hand is an end of turn card. So it'd be Felbat, it'd be Major Domo, it'd be the uh, one three quill bore that gives gems to the side. It'd be Light Fang, stuff like that. So it's an end of turn effect would be the card offered to you, and then your end of turn effects triggered twice. Oh man! So this is like the Ragnaros buddy but you don't have to have it on your board it's just auto i think this can be s tier so i'm gonna put it in the s if if you get there if you get it to work and if it offers you a good minion because if it doesn't offer you a good minion then you're kind of slow because i've seen someone get the quill bore the one three quill bore that's a tier three minion it's not that great but with when you don't have a good minion offered then the quest is easier to accomplish so like one time I played with this with Felbat and it gave me a really hard quest to accomplish and I ended up dying before accomplishing it. Um, where if it gave you a worse minion, then you can accomplish the quest faster. So you have to keep that in mind. Next we have Menagerie Mayhem. At the end of your turn, give your minions plus one attack for each friendly minion type. Uh, <coughs> so extra attack isn't like that great but keep in mind with menagerie you're usually doing divine shield menagerie the only issue with this is it's forcing you into a specific build and that's really hard to do so i just kind of think this is bad because it's forcing you a bit early into a specific build so i'm gonna put this in the trash <laughs> trash you go and right, next we have Mirror Shield. After each refresh, give a minion Bob's Tavern 4-4 four, four, and Divine Shield. That's insane. I think that's pretty nutty to give a Divine Shield out. You could get a full Divine Shield board in a couple turns, right? Because you just roll, take one, roll, take one. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the S tier because that seems nuts. The next one we have is 
Where'd it go? There it is. All right, pilfered lamps. You only need two copies of a minion to make a golden. Again, that seems S tier to me. You're going to be discovering so many minions of the higher tier. Uh, you only need two to make a golden. Great with pirates. Um, it's just absolutely bonkers. So uh, that seems S tier to me. Now, again, all these S tier ones probably have really hard quests to accomplish and get to these. Um, but if you play your hero safely, then you can get to them and then you win. So keep that in mind. All right. The next one we have is red hand at the start of your turn. Give a minion in your hand. 12, 12. I didn't get to test this, but I saw somebody doing this with, uh, cleave minions, uh, seemed very good. Very, very good. So I am going to, I think it's a, maybe not S. S, I mean, I'm being picky. So we'll add it to the A tier. Our next one is Ritual Dagger. After a friendly death row minion dies, give it 4 4 permanently. Oh. I just don't think this is very good. It seems just so. <sighs> Not going to do much for you. Unless you have like a very specific build. Like, maybe if you are playing Nazoth, so you're looking for Death Isles anyways, then you might as well pick this up. But other than that, I don't know if I'd ever pick it up. Our next one is Secret Sin Stone. After you discover a card, get an extra copy of it. What? After you discover a card. Can you use this with, like, scabs? Because you're discovering a minion. Because you're picking out a three. I'm... Uh, what? This probably can't be used with Hook Tusk, right? I mean, this could be really broken depending on how you can use it. And I don't know how you can use it. I haven't looked up that information. Oh, I feel like it could be really good. But I also feel like it could be mediocre if they take away a lot of its opportunity. I'm going to put it up there. I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out today. Our next one is Snicker Snacks. At the end of your turn, two friendly minions trigger their battle cards. Now, here you can't use this with Shutterwalk. I know that for sure. Uh, this seems like it would be good with going Murlocs. I wonder if this would work if you are playing Bran. It seems pretty good for tempo building. So I think I'm going to put it in the A tier. Snickersnacks. Oh, is it S tier? It might be randomly S tier. I'm going to put it up there. That's going to be my wild card. Uh, the next one I'm going to say is Staff of Orientation. Start of combat, give your minions 15 15. This is a really good tempo boost so that you can go and uh, get a comp going. And it, it's permanent for your dragons, your 4 4 dragons. It's really good. Is it the nuts? I, I think I'm going to make it A tier. I'll put it in the A's. And our next one we're going to look at is Stolen Good. Start of combat, make the left and right most many golden. Again, I really like this with uh, Baron builds or with dragons because of the Terragosa opportunity. I think Stolen Goods is S tier. Put them on the front so you can see it. Yeah, S tier. All right, our next one is... Teal Tiger Sapphire. Minions and Bob Tavern have one one for each time it was refreshed this turn. Uh, so this is kind of like Nas Dormu's buddy. I don't think it's that great. Uh, it just kind of seems slow compared to others. So I'm going to put this in B with the Alter Ego. At the start of your turn, get two random blank, so it'll be a different minion type. Uh, this is really good uh, forcing direction. I, I really like this one, but it, I, I kind of think it is S tier because I saw a lot of people do successful with it. I'm going to throw it up top in the S tier. 
Uh, I really liked it when I played with Quillbore. I could see it working really well with Pirates, so definitely going to throw that into the S tier. All right, next one we have is Theotar's Parasol. At the end of your turn, give your rightmost minion stealth until next turn and eight health. So the stealth is not permanent, but the health is permanent. Um, so it's pretty interesting how it could work in different ways. Uh, it can work with the macaw build to give something stealth so that the macaw can work with it before it gets sniped and you don't have taunt. Is it S tier? No. I don't think so. Though A health is a lot. I'm going to throw it in the B tier and see. It might be better than that. We'll find out. Oh, gosh. The next one we have is the smoking gun. Your minions have five attack. This is just trash, right? I had someone in my comments be like, how could you think this is trash? Five attack, that's way more attack than you get as a Deathwing hero power. It's better than a hero power. If you can't compare this to hero powers, you have to compare it to all the other cards that are rewards. And it's so trash compared to all the other rewards. So, yeah, I think it's trash. That's my final say. Uh, Tiny Henchman, at the end of your turn, give two, 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 three friendly minions of tier three or lower. Um, I guess this could work with certain builds where you just have low tier units. Uh, but in general, I don't think that that's common unless you get to like, I don't know, an early light thing and just building up three drop divine shields or something. It could be okay. Um, uh, but I, I'm with, let's see, it like it's like tier C for now. At least it gives health, like where this menagerie one didn't give health and only give attack. Uh, so I, I like that this one at least gives health, but I don't think it's that great. All right, our next reward is Victim Spectre. After each combat, get a plain copy of the last friendly minion that died. Um, at the after each combat, get a plain copy of the last friendly minion that died. I feel like this might work really interesting with like Rafam or I don't know uh, Heroes that Steal Minions. Tess. Not sure if it does work with her. But it's just a bit of money. It's not a lot of tempo on the board, which I feel like a lot of the higher tier ones give you some size and tempo. So therefore, I think this is just mediocre. So I'm going to throw it in this, in the B. Mediocre. Not enough. All right, Wondrous Wisdom Ball. This is just like... All these get deleted from S tier, and this gets to be an S tier. Way over them. The greatest thing ever. Holy crap. It's, it's, I, I watched it once in a video. I'll link the video. Like, I'll tag it right above right here. Right above me if you want to see it. But it, it's insane. It, it can, you can be tier five or a lower tier, and it will give you tier six minions. It will put, uh, in the shop. It will put golden minions in the shop. It will give you pairs and triples of all your minions in the shop. It's insane. I think it's broken and they probably need to tune it down a bit, but always pick that up if you can. Bonkers. And the last one is Yog Tastic Tasties. At the start of your turn, spin the Wheel of Yog. I didn't get to play this. I really wanted to. And I mean, I have to know what's on the Wheel of Yog. Let me try and look it up real fast. Wheel of Yog. Uh, dang. I don't know what's on it quite yet. I don't know what it is. But I'm excited for it. I'm going to put it S tier because... Because it's the Wheel of Yog. How could it not be S tier? All right. Do I want to rearrange anything? I probably want to like up in the S tier. I think I'm going to move the mask down to A. The snicker snack down to A. And we're going to move these down to A. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. So then let's look at the A tiers. I think Evil Twin will be B. And maybe devil's in the details. But I think I'm pretty happy with what I came up with. Yeah, I think from here we are good. This is this is the final draft. Please add a title. Rewards tier list. Save. There it is. Nice and pretty for you guys. What do you guys think of my uh, tier list? Let me know which rewards you are most excited to try today or this week. And uh, we will revisit this soon when we get a better understanding of which ones of these are broken and need nerfs and which ones need buffs. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. And have a great day. Bye.